715, so we'll call the meeting to order. We, uh, this is a request for a variance by uh, UMass College Federal Credit Union for sign variance at 125 Westgate Center Drive. Perfect. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Chairman, members of the board. I'm Tom Reedy, I'm attorney with Bacon, Wilson, over in Amherst, here on behalf of UMass uh, College Federal Credit Union with me, Rich Kump, the um, president and CEO of UMass 5. And yeah, I mean, pretty simply, what we're looking for is a, is a variance. It's technically an off-premises directional sign. So if you're all familiar with uh, the site over at Westgate Center Drive, I've got a GIS map just to show you. It is the yellow highlighted parcel. Um, you can see that it's tucked back off of Route 9. There's not any other properties that I can think of in Hadley that have this type of setup, which is a dead end that have commercial properties at the end of it. Um, and so what UMass 5 is looking to do is to place a 15 square foot sign. And I think in your packet you've got a, a, a general location of where it's going to go. It's kind of by the fire hydrant at the Staples location. Um, they've got a license from uh, staples in the property only yet. It probably isn't the best if it's not in color. So you see just a general location of where they're looking to put it. On the um, staples side. On the staples, okay. yeah. Just You'll see that I think they did work. Uh, not they being US-5, but I think it was actually an example solar developer that was digging up um, some of that uh, grass to lay some cables in the back, but it'll be right in that general area. And it really is just to reduce consumer confusion, promote public safety so that well, people know where they're going to go so they don't end up driving up and down Route 9 or, or going up to green leaves and then trying to loop around in, in any of those potential issues that could arise. Um, fairly simple and straightforward, but this is just the, the avenue that we have to uh, pursue to do it. I mean, any questions, we're, we're obviously happy to answer. What, what's, the, uh, what's the variance? What, what's what, what's like what, what's the planning board's problem with it? Like, why does it need a variance? So technically, the zoning bylaw I think it's seven point eight point five, um, seven point four point eight point five does not allow off-site direction, off-premises directional signs. Yeah, no. Uh, seven point four point eight point five. That's right. Yeah, let me grab. I guess it's from two thousand eleven. Yeah. So they updated just to forbid us, I guess. <coughs> Uh, and we did start out with the planning board, and then they referred, they sent us here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That happens. <laughs> you got to do it in reverse. <laughs> so it's really just, I mean, that simple. We love seeing you, but if we didn't have to be here, then. You said the sign is 15? 15 square feet. Yeah, and I think, I mean, in the business zoning district, Typically, 40 square feet is allowed, so it's well below it. And when I say 15 square feet, it's per side. It's three by five. I think it's two feet off the ground. So you say it's going to be on Staples? Yes. yes. And it's not clear to me where in this where the sign is. Is it by the intersection? Yeah, and it's. Prior to the intersection, as you're heading <coughs> towards Amherst. Yes. So if you see Staples, uh, for a point of reference, we've got the fire hydrant. So then the road Westgate Center Drive probably goes about like this. And so it's on the westerly side of Westgate Center Drive. So this is the sign? Yes. Do you want to see that? How far off of Westgate? You know how far for us? Um, you know, I had Agnoli's uh, information here. Sorry, I don't know. And of course, the uh, the Staples property is a is a lease, and uh, we also have the the property owner's permission to, to put the sign up as well. So, try to cover all our bases and. Do you have the property owner's permission in writing? Um, you know, I don't, but he sits on our board, so. <laughs> <laughs> this I board can, needs that. <laughs> okay, I'm happy to provide that. Okay, we couldn't be giving or granting or. Mm -hmm. 
Well, just anything for someone who's. Is that the license agreement? Yeah. So this is a, yes. You've got so the, the, the license agreement. Yeah. Motion yeah. yeah. from the owner. That's down from your owner. <coughs> Yeah. <laughs> Andrew, where do you see that? Well, it's, a, it's I think it's a license licensee agreement for the installation of signage. So There's no persons or person. No Office way. Superstore East LLC. Yeah, but you said that they didn't own it; it was leased. So is yeah, that the covered? Staples doesn't own it, but the LLC owns the property. This, this place owns the property, right? No, so the, the owners of the property is Amherst Development, but they are the lessor under a lease with Office Superstore, so Office Superstore has control of the property. Okay. And so they're allowing us to put the sign on the property that they have exclusive use of. Yeah, and we actually, when we went to Tim, uh, building inspector first, <coughs> we were going, we went there only with the property owner's permission. He said, no, what you really need is the, is the, uh, Lease owner, right. lease owner, right? In order to, to do that, so I didn't have it uh, in writing from the landowner. But again, so you have both now. Yes. yes. Okay. Yeah. Is um. And did you say how many feet off of? Yeah, uh, you know, I don't have that right here, unfortunately. Is there any? So is it just? So there's an off-premises sign prohibition at seven point four point eight point five. Is it, what about uh, the staples have? Does it, does it impact like staples signage or anything? No, I don't think it. Did. I don't think that will work. And it, how close to the road can it be? There's a certain. It has to be more than ten feet. Okay. Right. So Otherwise, you get into a uh, state. Yeah. Yeah. And I think what we would say is, at least off of the road, is that we'll comply with the zoning bylaw relative to what the setback requirements are off the road. And no illumination or anything like that. No. Okay. External illumination. Uh, no, we have none. Okay. But if, if we have any, just because I'll say what I've never, uh, just in case, we'll have them compliant. Mm -hmm. We'll have a compliant with the bylaws, so no internal illumination. Mm -hmm. uh, You'd have to come back and see us. That's right. <laughs> so. You love these meetings, do you? That's it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they have permission. It's honoring the set. Is that area zoned? Business. <laughs> and it it'll be visible from um, Route 9? Yes. That's the point. So it's it's actually pointing down Westgate, not into uh, UMass 5 from Staples. The sign will essentially be, how will it be oriented in I relation it, to? So if I'm on Route 9 right now, it'll be. OK, so it'll like be like this. UMass is down, UMass yes, 5 yes, down this way. Precisely. Okay. So that Vehicles traveling in both directions, okay. east and west, would be able to. Is it a right, two faced so sign? Two -faced, yeah. two -faced sign? That's like the Route 9 side of Staples. I thought that was the uh, Westgate side. Yeah. Help <coughs> a little bit That's cool. Oh, this is like you'd be standing so, on Westgate here. Yeah, like you're standing on Westgate looking at it. Route 9 is perpendicular. It's going to be double faced so that people can turn in and see it from. The opposite lane as well as the lane that passes Staples. And there's no... This might be a little less shiny and a, a better picture oh, yeah. just to orient. So. Yeah. Yeah, we'll be able to see it from there. There's no, there's no existing signage for Staples on that side? There's no in, mounted signage for Staples along that side there? They, I think the closest one to support Staples, I looked today, is or on the other side of those trees. Okay. Yeah, it's... And now the building. Further away. Right. Okay. Uh, okay. Do anybody have any other questions? I don't have any questions. Do you have any questions? Okay. Thanks. Okay. Sure. Okay. I move that we grant the variance for signage for FCFCU. Seconded. All those in favor? Aye. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it.
I'll take them. Yeah. One set. You have one set. Hopefully, it's more than just this business for the evening. No. No. Nope. Uh, no. Uh, no. It's PCL for one. <laughs> it's all right. We're all local. Yeah. 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 Thanks a lot. Thank, Thank you. Appreciate you. It. Have a good evening. Good. That's okay. All right. Yeah. <laughs> Adjourned. Adjourned. <laughs>